I don't remember what I even said, so let me just stop it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Candice and this is Everything Beauty with Candice B. So this is gonna be my top five series where I show you guys all of my top five beauty products. Today we are gonna be focusing on red lips. So the shade that I'm wearing today is the Fenty Icon Refillable Lipstick in the shade MVP. It's not in my top five since I literally just picked it up an hour ago, but I already did a review on this. So if you wanna see it, I'll put it up in the cards. So starting with number five, it is a drugstore brand. You can pick it up at Target and it's also black owned. It is by the Lip Bar. It is the Liquid Matte Lipstick. It retails for $13 and the name of the shade is Boss Lady. So I'm gonna swatch it on my hand because all of the lipsticks that I have are liquid lipsticks. They are meant to stay on and I don't wanna be taking it off and taking it and putting it on because my lips will go very raw. If I can, I will get some footage throughout the week of me wearing all of these reds and then I'll insert it here. But for now, I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. So this is the first one. I love this red, you guys. It is such a beautiful red, especially when you put it on your lips. It is the perfect blue toned red. Love it, beautiful red. But what I don't love is that it tends to bleed outside of my lip lines, but because of the color, I just suffer when I wear it. I just have to make sure that I'm always checking my lipstick and cleaning up around the edges. I have tried using lip liners and that still hasn't really worked, but it's, it's worth it. Just go ahead and get it. It's only $13 and you can pick it up at Target. Next up is a bullet lipstick and it's by Pat McGrath Labs. I know I said I really don't like bullet lipsticks, but this one definitely acts like a liquid lipstick. This one is called the Lux Trance Lipstick and it's in the shade 419, which is major red. This one is a perfect orangey type red. I love this one too. So I'm just swatching it next to Boss Lady. So if you can see that one. This one is a brighter red. This one is like more of a blue tone red. So this one is beautiful, but be careful because once you put it on your lips, it tends to really stain, which I don't mind because I want my lips to stay red all day long and not have to reply, reapply so many times. So I really love this one. Think a little bit about it. It retails for, ooh, how much does it retail for? It retails for $38. You can pick it up on patmcgrathlabs.com or in Sephora. Next one up is from our girl Riri. It is the Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. So this one is definitely another bright orangey type red. One of my favorite colors to wear in the summertime. Let me just swatch it. I like the texture of it because it is, it does feel like a paint. It's kind of liquidy. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. See, it is pretty liquidy. And I really like the applicator of this one because it does allow you to really just paint the red onto your lips. Now, let me just show you the swatch. So this one is definitely an orangey red. It almost looks like a blood red to me, which I really like. And it has that orange undertone. I love this red also have the same problem though that I do with the lip bar where it kind of like bleeds out around my lips but this one doesn't do it as bad as the lip bar does I love this shade and I don't care if it's gonna spread all over I just keep cleaning it up all throughout the day but the color is beautiful it really doesn't move except for on the edges but I guess it do move then if I'm saying on edges. That is one of my favorite lipsticks from Fenty Beauty. I love it. It's a beautiful shade of red. And now moving into number two and number one, which is from the same brand and it's the same lipstick, but it's two different reds. So number two and number one is from Beauty Bakery. So I have these two reds here. So I would say number two is gonna be Mon Cherie, which is another bright orangey red. And then number one would be the Cranberry Stiletto. I love this one and I also think Beyonce wears this red. 
So now let me go to Mon Cherie. So this one is another red. It's very identical to the Fenty, the Fenty Uncensored. There we go. So it's pretty close. But this one right here, when I say she don't move, she don't move. <laughs> she is not gonna go anywhere. Usually like these lipsticks last me so long because I only put them on once in the morning and then I'm good for the rest of the day. Like I can eat, I can drink and my lips will stay red no matter what. And these actually don't feather out around my lips. They actually really stay on my lips, which I love. It is one of my favorites, my holy grail. So now let me show you number one. So this one is definitely a darker red shade but I love this one too. So let me swatch it. Oh, I love that red. Go. So this is Cranberry Stiletto. So it is definitely a darker red where all the rest of these are kind of like an orangey red. But this one's so beautiful. Works so well and does not move. So there is one more lipstick that I wanted to add to the list and it would have replaced one of my Beauty Bakery lipsticks, but I can't find it and I'm so irritated right now. So I'm just gonna make it an honorable mention and put a picture up on the screen so you can see what it is, but it's the NYX Shine Loud Liquid Lipstick. So that is another drugstore liquid lipstick. I would have put that one in my number two spot because like Beauty Bakery, it does not move. And what I like about the Shine Loud lipstick is that it comes with a gloss that you can put on top. Because if you don't know, like with liquid lipsticks, you're supposed to wear them by themselves. If you put like chapstick or a gloss on top, then they're going to move. They're meant to be worn by themselves so that they stay in place. And a lot of times they can feel a little bit drying. But with the Shine Loud one, you can put that gloss on top and your lips still stay in place and they look so good all day. I do have some other colors, so I will show you that I do really love these, lip these lipsticks. So I have this pink shade here. I have a hot pink shade. I have this brown one. It does tend to look a little red on me when I put it on. And then I have this berry one. So you will see these when I do a top five pinks or a top five berries or a top five brown lipsticks. These will be on the list for sure. And I really wish I could have included that red, but I have no idea where it is. So before I go, all of the lipsticks have dried down on my hand. So I just wanna show you a little bit what the finishes look like. So this was the first one, Boss Lady. So it did dry down pretty matte. And then you see Pat McGrath here. It's still pretty shiny because it wasn't a liquid lipstick. It's that bullet type lipstick that is very moisturizing. This is the Fenty Uncensored, so that one is pretty matte. This is Mon Cherie from Beauty Bakery, and then this is Cranberry Stiletto. So these two, they dry down extremely matte, but they do feel very comfortable on the skin. Do y'all see why I love liquid lipstick? I have on cleansing oil, and so far, <laughs> it's not coming off. I've been scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing, and I know some people hate that, but this is why I love liquid lipstick. This reason right here. <laughs> so comment down below, what are your favorite lipsticks? Especially the reds, I wanna know because I love red lipstick and I will buy it all year long. It doesn't matter how many I have, it's my favorite shade to wear. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite red lipstick to wear? And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the kind of content I'm bringing you every single week on my channel. Also hit those notification bells so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.